Hi guys, and welcome to another care review. Okay, so today we're having a look at a kit from Mini Art, and the kit number is 38050, and it is their civilian drivers 1930-40s. Now, as you can tell, these particular civilian drivers are not specifically for um, civilian vehicles like sedans or whatever. They will work reasonably well for a commercial vehicle but more specifically these are designed for the range of um, tractors that Mini Art produces. As you can see you've got two drivers one male one female. This gentleman here he's turning the steering wheel which is the crank to start the tractor and this lady here she has a small blowtorch unit which is used to heat the hot bulb, uh, which actually burns the fuel in the engine of the tractor. So if you do have one of those tractors, um, I have two of them, um, these will be an ideal accessory for that. So let's have a look at the rest of the box. On the back is your painting and assembly guide. You do have color charts for several different manufacturers, Vallejo, Mr. Color, AK, etc. You don't necessarily have to stick to the, the uh, clothing colors that they specify. Naturally enough, being civilians, farm workers, you can paint them almost any color that you prefer. All right, so that's the box. So in a second, we'll actually have a look at the sprues themselves. So let's have a look at the sprues. So as you can see, just two sprues. They're all divided up into separate figure segments. So that will make it easier for Mini Art to um, cut these and use them in future productions if they want to. Let's take this one out of the way. And let's have a look at the first one. So this is the first guy. This is the guy who's um, cranking the um, tractor over really nice detail on the face really sharp detail on the clothing i do like that there is a as usual fair bit of cleanup along the mold lines required but not too bad so i'll give you some shots of him Next, we'll have a look at this one. So this is the other gentleman. And again, get that in focus. Come on, there you go. So we can get him there, it's better. Nice detail on the face. Usual clean up along the mole lines, but the um, clothing is very sharp, very nicely done and will come up quite well with a bit of shading on that so i do like that so that's the second figure so the next figures are the two women so this is the lady with the i was going to say lady with the lamp but she's not florence nightingale with the um, heating blowtorch so again nice face sculpts on these i do like the separate um hair really nice sorry about that really nice detail on the clothing there is a fair bit of cleanup along the mold lines on the arms and on the heating unit, which is a bit disappointing, but I'll give you close-ups of these anyway, so you can have a really good look.
And the final figure is this lady. So she has a separate uh, scarf, it goes on her head. This is the lady that's actually um, driving, as you can see. But really nice detail. I do like the clothing detail and the faces are really well sculpted. That's it. So that's one through, and that's the other through. That's all you get in this kit. It's just two small sprues. As I said, it cost me around about $14. And that's a great little accessory for anyone who owns one of the Mini Art Tractor units. And that brings us to the end of this review. Hope you got something from it. Thank you for your likes, your subscriptions, and your comments. They're always appreciated. And as usual, guys, until next time, take it easy, stay safe, and I will see you later.